Bajo. Mr. Cave and Watch.
battle. Drop! Mr. Game and Watch! Let's go! So it's all for you. Game and Watch, Zelda, Rob, and Didi. Oh my god, that's a real kick box, huh? Don't worry, I've already done that. Alright, so... Play the cool cast. Look, the Jedi cast. So it's an Akaburu. Yes, another fall. I'm so happy. I get it. Got that reflective in us, you know, in our culture and in our culture. That's how we are, you know. Nice people in real life, you generate good games. You can't have any other way. All people with pressure to legitimate games. Yeah. All right. Losers final, we have Bird and Lalapa. He just jumps up Stepping up to the, to the Smash <laughs> Ultimate setup here. <laughs> 
configuring controllers. The Lapin taking out iBixel to get to this stage, and Akabur losing the winner's final 3 1 to DCS. <laughs> <laughs> Map striking commencing now. Oh, this is not. This is not a little one. No, uh, this is large. It is, yeah. You can get it in the blind spot. This is also large. Yeah, but it's still like. Sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know why I'm bending more space, but sure. Both oh, players taking their time with map selection. <laughs> and we're going to small battlefield. On the cap selection screen, screen now. We've got the Lapin on the Rob. And Akabird on the Zelda. It's go time. Opening up with uh, a few pokes here coming from the Zelda, but the Rob coming back with it. Lapin already in the edge guard position here. Uh, Akabird making it back. Lapin do a little helicopter off the stage. Oh, but Akabird teleports back on. Nothing big happening yet. <laughs> Shots coming out. Damn, yeah, shield, shield up. No big punishes here. Knocked down onto the lap in there. Akabird cooling his bodies in. That is a 2v1. One day we noticed he's gone. Oh, just, just a lot of neutral footsies. Oh, the, the triple! <laughs> and that is the first KO. That's going to be going to Lil Appen there. 67%. Still not too damaged here. But a couple of good counter hits, and that could be it. Makes it back to the ledge there. Gets back on. Without much trouble, but gets the KO. Side air coming out from Akabur. Edge Garden Strat slapping that ledge. And it teleports back on. Thrown back out. Damn, nice pressure coming out from the Lapin. Very clean on this robot here. Ooh, that's. That is rough. That is, well, the Lapin's only an 18%. That is going to be. A mountain to climb here for Akabird in this game one. Oh, and the spin! That is a very comfortable game going in the way of Lalapin. Do I meant to play it, Rebels? Me. Uh, you versus... Yeah. I might have to give him a win. Okay. That's alright, you're right starting and losers. Oh, that's double Ayla? I saw it. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Oh, oh wait, you didn't, you didn't enter Did I not enter rivals? Oh, oh what the fuck? Yeah. Sorry, Thomas. Oh, you going to take my spot? Thomas, can I DQ you? You want to take my spot? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was thinking about DQing anyway. So, so, what was the score there, 2-0? Yeah, yeah. Was it 2-0? Yeah, 2-0 this guy. Uh, we got Lichgo versus Ned. Oh, wait, I thought I entered this one. You guys go nuts. Go! Who's Thomas. Oh, we're playing rivals? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, we got a fully casted game one. <laughs> a fully casted game one? Okay. Oh, I'm here to quickly take over <laughs> if this is audible. <laughs> Hackerbird with his name in Braille. Looking for a way out of the sin. <laughs> Insane. Who's my opponent again? I 
Oh, me. I'm very single. Uh, they're doing double limits, so it's no longer financially. Logistically possible. No longer possible. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow, I've been stopping the jump attempt with the spinning gyro. Oh, actually, nice up there on stage by Thomas. I never thought I'd say that. Oh, nice Phantom keeping him going low. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, is that going to be a punish? No. Phantom slicing through the projectiles. Alright, back to a neutral game. And the up throw finishes it. Hacker would take a moment to collect himself before going back into the thick of it. Nearly squeezes out a strong aerial. I would have finished it probably. Oh, unfortunate day. <laughs> Rob does have a big hurt box, so he's potentially vulnerable to a to a lightning kick out of shield. Jerry is knocked out by the up here. Ooh. And the rest of it is like 600. Lala been sort of taking back control of the set there. Oh yeah, do you guys you guys cool playing in Rivals of Ether after this? Yeah. Okay. I, that's a mystery. I have I no idea. I think YouTube auto-muted it because of all the games. Oh, actually, I got a copyright claim on one of the videos. So That'll be it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Taking this opportunity to say, fuck Square Enix. <laughs> 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 you have no right to claim my tournament footage as your own. of the game's music plays, so like Clyde walks up to Aerith and Aerith's thing plays, it's like <laughs> Yo, I, they, they should just switch, like, switch, yeah. switch, like, difficulties. Yeah, it's like normal just, yeah, yeah, but it's just like, yeah, Okay. Akabird once again taking the, uh, wow. at a disadvantage, oh but this man's too good, so we're gonna see how it goes. Winning last round bats over an excellent player himself. There you go, that's a lightning kick out of shield we wanted to see. Uh, Lollapin doesn't space those carefully or place them really low on shield. 
is vulnerable to getting lightning tipped. Oh, what a parry to both players, actually. Oh, we knocked off stage for that, but that's an untickable. That's the opportunity to turn this around, but a grab from Rob might do it. Oh my god, what? The up B just cancelled. I've never seen that before. New out of shield option for Zelda? <laughs> I think my weapon tried to read a roll. Beg this gonna see what. Yeah! Yeah, Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Lullapity well, wants the run back versus DCS, so they're gonna play now. Oh, yo. So, why we said let's go? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. With Adelus, yep. Like yeah. Adelus is a good boy. So I hit, uh, like, 11 down tilts in a row. Yeah, nah, that was a good match. <laughs> That's that good stuff. Um, so, what was the score? Was that 3-0, Sam? Huh? Okay. Oh. Sam, 3 0 his way into Grand Finals, where he gets to play DCS. DCS looking to win his first local with DDD at this tournament. Anyway, I'll check you back on to Let's Go with his excellent casting ability. Evil. Uh, not, not yet. You're playing the loser of me and, uh, okay. And we're back. Let's Go's back on the casting seat. We've got our grand final here, DCS versus Lalapin, or Lalapin, oh. however you say that name, Lalapin taking it 3-0 over Akabird. Grand final now, starting up. We got the, we got the pre-game RPS going on. We got Smashville off the list. And we're going a small battlefield. A common opening for uh, for the players here tonight. And we got the uh, the age old Rob. And of course, the classic DDD. <laughs> 3 2 1 go. Starting off here. DDD starting off. Eats him up, spits him out. Throwing him back and forth. Got that classic edge guarding strat projectiles coming out. <laughs> Poking him off off the stage, but DDD manages to get back. Throws a spike ball in the face. Oh, and the juggling coming out from the lap and masterful lasers. Make sure he blocks that uh, that spike ball coming in so that he doesn't get a free recovery back to the stage. Lappin still uh, still applying this pressure. Goes off stage, dips down, comes back up. Oh, hits him with a projectile. Just guarding that center masterfully here. Beautiful up air. Laser. Projectile. Another laser. Not hitting any of them. But that is pressure. That is a hitbox on the screen. Oh, and the up tilt coming out. From DDD here, up air. That is going to be it. First stock going in the way of DCS here. The Lapin has 166% on, on the DDD player here. So, uh... Definitely won't be too tough to confirm as Annie does it. Does not take a hit of damage. Both players, 0%. Second stock. Rematch. Let's go. Oh, both players put, playing a little bit of footsies here. Oh, eating them up and spinning them out once more. Goes for the up air. Doesn't connect. The side tilt. Oh, and his, uh, his spike will gets thrown away. Just like that. Projectile. Oh, back at him. Down air coming out. Side tilt projectile. Edge guard position now once again for all up and will he be able to confirm it? Oh, the back air, that was clean. 
Oh, uh, there. He's taking hit after hit after hit. Oh, but he's throwing back to the other side. So it's good. I really like him. Projectiles are flying up all the way in the sky. <laughs> oh, we got DCS coming back onto the stage just like that. Oh, that projectile can be careful. Slams him on the butt up. Oh no! That is a rough game one. Someone, for a little lap in here. It's not I'm not just aiming for the... I'm aiming higher. You already have this on the moon! I was talking about how... He doesn't need to win the whole lot. If they even put Shadow in the moon, there's one thing that they have to do that's a part of Shadow's character. And that's the little girl that gets shot in some both players looking each other in the eye with the eyes of fury right now. It's intense. It's built to smash. Number 19. Character picks remaining the same. <clears throat> we'll see if Will Lappin can, uh, can turn this in his favor. Projectile coming out once again. Gets blocked and uh, DCS now has the upper hand in this initial exchange, but gets reversed by Lilapin. Getting juggled now off stage. Makes it back, shields on the corner. Manages to get back to center stage, but no, it's still stuck on the corner there. Nice pressure coming out from Lilapin once again, edge guarding with that down tilt. Or down light, I suppose. Oh, brutal combo coming out from DCS. That is going to be the first stock. Eleven is not doing a great job of staying in this set. He's coming from the loser's bracket, so he's going to need to take six to DCS's three. Dunkle coming out, projectiles once again. Spinning everywhere. Oh, trying to make it back. Over the spike ball. Oh, Mr. the side air. A tilt from uh, from a lap in there. Gonna be putting DCS in a bad position. He doesn't like this. We're using all of the jumps to get back here. Oh, and that was a beautiful conversion off of that edge guard, letting him get back, peeling off for just a second to send him to his doom. Oh, spy balls off stage. Ooh, that was nasty. We've got a full stock lead. In the favor of DCS. Oh no, what is... He, he doesn't make it back. Nice, that's, that's what we like to see here. Oh, Saito coming out. Tries to eat him up. It doesn't happen, he doesn't jump. Oh my god. Swing after swing after swing. That is game two going in the way of DCS. <laughs> You heard it here first, oh, folks. He is so good. The lap and having a rough day. He's pulling out the almonds. Good sportsmanship here, offering almonds to the competitors. Those almonds are only going to act as fuel to the competition here. Bro, he's good. I know, right? 
Yeah, I don't remember which one of the same ones was, though. I think it was Bird versus Eve. It's me? Sure. Sorry to take you away from your scheduled commentator. DCS is up 2 0 in this winner's final set. In this game, a grand final set, excuse me. Alex picking the objectively worst DDD color because there's no deep, there's no color. Alex says that's not true with explicit language. The green one is not, in fact, the worst. This is the worst one. The best one is the grey one. Yeah, I can see it. You're winning. It is slightly grey. It's it's Game Boy colors. To to uh, celebrate the the time DDD came into the world, Sakurai brought DDD into this world, and uh, he has not left us. Gordo snipes the nair before it comes out. Oh, what a punish! Never seen a back air punish like that. Oh, DDD's big hurt box not enough to get hit by that combo. Cool. He's just like I'm gaming. Oh, DC squeezes that and up too. Oh, he doesn't get caught in the hole up tilt, so he will live another day. Well, I've been smartly tried to shield poke here. DCS successfully zones with the Gordon. <laughs> Ooh, even with the platform, they won't kill. DDD's a fat boy. We love him for it, though. Oh, the up air clanks with the gyro. Lala Apple confirms the kill. Yeah, he's ready for the ledge trap. Yeah. So it might kill at 200. That's a practical uh, time for something to kill in this. Oh, he gets clipped! That is what Lalapin wants right now. DCS uses various expletives to describe what happened to him. He's now got the gyro in hand. Getting some damage. Got him on the platform. Tech chase up to it. Like how many, how many oh, time for traps, baby. Yes, well done. Okay. Is no one gonna answer? DDD up there beating out Rob Nair? Question mark. Oh, did he smartly moving around the Rob buttons? Oh, nice back here. You either embrace it all or you think, oh, I embrace it. And I was like, oh, yo, he's getting him sealed. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to I'm like, okay. Oh, nice stall bay by Lalapin. He knows what DCS wants right now. I didn't even know what he wanted there. Alright, DCS, he's, this could potentially be tournament stock for Lalapin. DCS has to turn it up, he wants to secure the tournament now. The auto cross up with the back air, as Gamma Fox would say. True, true. Is that my two? And she's like, like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, I can't trust you. Oh my god. I can't believe <laughs> it. Yeah. Rob's down too. Why are you like, tagging all of them? Well, the boots are really long. I have to do this integral on my phone. Even DDD not fat enough. That was the perfect oh. spot dodge. There's literally... I've never seen um, a spot dodge dodge DDD's F to entirely. <laughs> DCS complains about lag. I'm sorry, but that's just how ultimate is, buddy. 
All of my Actually, why my doesn't have an exam because he's like, yeah. Alright. Um, what stage are these gamers gonna pick next? Instead, and then you don't have to remember things at the end of the year. Like, I've, we finished one of the one of the modules, so I don't have to think about it ever again. Yeah. Which is ever, unless I fail with the Yoshi. Actually, what can I get? You're gonna set up. My first tutor generally became like so sick of teaching. He would just spend his class time arguing me about Crash Bandicoot. Um, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's only MDSR, so did Alex win on it last? Oh, it's great. He's like, it sucks. And then I'm like, you're wrong, AJ. And he would just argue all the time. Yeah. I'm in his Discord now, and I just like, work. Yeah, he's a good, he's a good yeah, only DSR for rivals because it's just such a huge stage list. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, um. They farm your data so hard that they actually have a good algorithm. I think, I think that's right. Two bands and MDSR. Alright, we got Lich go back on the mic to Osa Akabu. Yep. Okay. Thanks for that. I might just DQ Lalapin from Rivals. So Solus automatically makes top four. Um, okay. Hey Thomas, uh, you and Aiden play. Lose the semis. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like genuinely, uh, if we all love these guys, like, updates? Uh, that's all good now. Like, go out. It's potentially the last game. What's the score? Oh, it's a 2-1 to DCS. Alright. <coughs> and we're back into it. Lalapin, uh, uh, perhaps having a, a little bit of time to shine here with the, uh, with the one game in his favor. Uh, but game two, it is, it is tough. It is dead even. Oh, but not if he does that. That is a rough second stock being lost instantly. Beautiful offstage combo coming out from Alapin. Oh, but DCS answers back. Up dot coming out from Alapin. DCS sitting up there shielding. He's comfortable. You know, he's, uh, he's composed in this huge deficit. Now we got the ventriloquist coming out from the lap in here. All oh, the up tilts coming out as well. Oh, but that's gonna hurt. That is some. Oh, and the edge guard coming out from DCS. That is going to even up the stocks. He still has a chance in this game right here. But Lapin dealing out the damage right now. Yeah, 90% to 11. It's not looking good for DCS right now. One good counter hit could do it right now. <clears throat> oh, Spike Bull's coming out. Trying to even up the damage a bit. But DCS seeping into the 100% range here. Deep in the red. Another Spike Ball shakes it off with the, with the neutral air. Projectile coming out. Edge guards coming from the lap and oh, but he's he's getting to that dangerous percent where uh, one good hit could could end it, and that is it. The lap and takes a game four. The <laughs> lap and coming back here, taking it back to game five now. Two two in the grand finals. The lap and needs this game or he's out of the tournament. If he wins, that's a bracket reset. Needs to win four more. <laughs> And we're going back to small battlefield. <laughs> right, back into it. King DDD. This time, King DDD coming back to us in some grayscale. Looking like a, a, a photograph taken when, when photographs were, were not common. <laughs> Already both players doing some offstage shenanigans here. 
back on the stage. DCS with the <laughs> slight damage deficit. Getting put in this edge guard position quite a lot. Oh, that's a big wave and a beautiful punish coming out from a lap in here. Uh, throwing out the spike balls. Got him in the edge guard. Tries to eat him up. Does not work. Spike ball gets blocked. Oh, beautiful up tilt or up smash. Coming out from DCS. Oh, he tries to sort away the spike ball, but in that attempt, he gets punished and gets punished hard. Throws a little laser back to the stage. Tries to grab that ledge. He gets it. Hits away the spike ball, but is met with a brutal swing of the hammer. Oh, and does not waste any time cleaning up the stocks here. Pulls him right out of that shield. Straight away. No chill going straight at it. Parry! Oh! Does he... He, he can get back. That that up B is, is very good for recovering back to stage. It's going to be taking him all the way from the magnifying glass back to that ledge. But players dead even in this in this game. Could be the final game of the night for Smash Ultimate. We'll see how it goes. Oh, well, it's not looking good for the lap in here. He's getting... He's getting hurt by this hammer. Gets gets hit with another another up move, and that up air is going to be taking that stock. Big lead for DCS now. Can he maintain it if he wants? You know, if he wants to go home tonight, then uh, then he better do it. Oh, but the spin gets him right, right in the stomach with that helicopter. That's going to be ending that that second stock, and the Lappin's making this comeback now. 40% up. Oh, but that is going to hurt. Evening it right up with the damage there. <laughs> Trying to eat him up once more. Hook with the hammer hit with the spike ball. Met with another one. Spike ball on the screen. It's not going to connect. Oh, no punish from that. That could have been rough for DCS there, but... Lappin trying his best to stay in this, gets him with a down tilt, grabs him, sends him back up, up air, that is not going to end it just yet. Oh, beautiful spacing. Oh, but that is going to be game five. Going to the Lappin. Reverse sweep. Stop playing around. He came with Elmans and he's here for blood. Back to the stage, all too familiar, small battlefield, two platforms, nothing crazy out here. Then we got the Lappin. He's got to empty his pockets for this one. <laughs> Pulling out the Elmans once again. Get a little pre-match snack here. <laughs> Same picks, no grayscale this time. Back on a small battlefield. Game one of the bracket reset. Game six in total. Start of the neutral. Trying to eat him up. <clears throat> All too familiar with this strategy. The Lappin is able to capitalize and get a good starter. 40% now with, uh, with with DCS on the receiving end of some of some abuse right here. <laughs> Damn, the Lappin's Rob is nasty with it spinning around. Gets him with a down tilt into the spins. The spinning projectile as well. Gonna gonna keep him on his toes. All the down tilts after one another. <laughs> Throwing some projectiles in the air now. <clears throat> oh, he's spinning. He's doing his spinning things. Gets poked out by the hammer. DCS now in the edge guard position. Oh, but the Lappin does hit him away and makes it back here. Trying to jump back. Doesn't get anything. Oh, but the body slam 
onto the ground there is going to allow DCS to get that space back that Lapin was trying to steal from him. Oh, but the spike ball gets hit back, and that laser is going to be taking out DCS's first stock. Projectile coming out. A B. <gasps> Oh, offstage genetic is happening! Nothing big coming from it though. DCS desperately trying to find this. First stock from the lap and, and he gets it. 12% and not too bad here. Nothing crazy. Oh, but but those those lasers are going to perhaps make it a little something crazy. More lasers in particular is coming out, eating him up, spitting him out. <laughs> the King DDD special. Up tilt coming out, trying to break break some of that shield. He's not having it. Eats up the projectile, spits it back. Oh, he's he's doing a good job of breaking some space here with these uh, with these wave dashes. Oh, the spin. Putting DCS off stage here. Big swing coming out. Not going to amount to much. Hammer pokes, spin it around. We got some DDD chance in the building. Oh, and the grab into the up smash. That is going to hurt. Even game though, once again, both of these players going at it neck and neck. Lappin with the slight disadvantage here. But uh, he is going to grab, he's going to break neutral perfectly. He's got the advantage now. DCS on the receiving end of some pressure. Oh, more. All these stage combos have been beautiful from, uh, from the Lappin. Definitely given given DCS a, a tough time with that. Oh, he's going in with it again. Down tail and the dash up, grab, getting the up airs. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a that's a that's a forty percent difference there. Oh, and the counter hit. That's going to take game one of the bracket reset going in the way of Lalapin. Got to equip some protein here. Get the almonds on. Straight back into it seems both players in agreement that small battlefield will be the war zone here. Oh, and the grab coming out, round start with it. 33% already, 47 onto the lap, and that's gonna be rough. Spikeball's coming out, lasers, shields him successfully. Oh, and he's he's got he's got some moves here. Oh, the big swing doesn't manage to break the shield, gets him off stage. Makes it back with the up B, gets hit with the spike, but now he's back in a bad position. Wow, up air from the lap and is going to be dealing that damage. Both players truly neck and neck here. Oh, but the up air sends him in a very not so nice place. Oh, and the forward air that is going to take the first stock. Oh, the lap and charging up some uh, some lasers here. Oh, eats them up, spits them out. He's back off stage now. <laughs> Definitely not a good position to be in. Oh, but that is going to kill. Forty-four percent in the deficit. The lap and already kind of running off the map. <clears throat> Definitely feeling the fear from this uh, DDD. Oh, that is a rough, rough spike. <coughs> spike ball coming from the DDD. But are both players seriously, ridiculously even here? Such a close game, it's not even funny. And to contrast from uh, from game one where Lalapin was really not feeling uh, he had any room to, to do much of anything against this DDD. Great adaptation coming out from him to uh, be able to play like this after such a <coughs> devastating loss. 
Oh my god, it's not split some out, taking them all the way downtown. And the up smash once again is gonna be taking that stock. All oh, the combo with the spike ball. Damn, sending them on fire. Lighting them up. Oh, shoots a laser at the spike ball. Oh, but the combo's coming out from a lap in here. Really doing a great job of edge guarding this, but he puts himself in a bad position. Well, tries to jump. Cannot avoid that spike ball. Oh, the forward air. That's gonna hurt. Oh, and he makes it back. What a fantastic recovery coming out from him. He's gonna look for something big. Oh, peeling off. I agree. Damn, eating him up, spitting him out. Projectiles coming out. Both players playing this very, very safe. But the lap and really want something to happen. Oh, and it might. It might just here. 150%. <gasps> Spike ball does not kill. Oh my god. Swipes him out of the air with that. Absolute snipe with the hammer. And that is going to be gang two. Going to DCS, 1-1 one, one in the set. <laughs> Both players wanting to stay the night at the venue. <laughs> Don't tell me you fuckers reset. Yeah, I reset. Reset 1-1. One, one. It was game 5, and now it's game 7. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> We have a stage switch up here now. We've got uh well, I've been picking the Pokemon Stadium too. You know, you know, get ready for a battle. That's what he's saying here. <laughs> Round start. A vacuum cleaner again. Damn, Lappin oh. letting him know. He's gonna have arthritis at fucking 20. Yeah, you try to you try to suck me up, but I am the Dyson. Down here, coming out, uh, keeping him keeping him safe, putting a little bit of threat on that wall there. Oh, once again, that is rough. He's only in 34%. Already taking the first stock. He's here for blood. Over the hammer pokes. Well, Lappin not in a good position. Gets back to the stage. But eats another grab that's going to be rough. Hammer swings coming out. Reads the DI gets the tech chase. Oh, Lappin. He's got to make something happen before he dies here. Had such an impressive start. Cannot let it go to waste. Oh, but the spike ball, he's not dead yet. Oh, very nice. He gets a little bit of damage. Little bit, I'm saying little bit, but that is 69%. 81, 86, 103. Oh, and the early stock with the game off stage there. 158%. He is hurting, and DCS responds accordingly. Damn, but players are grabbing each other, but well, the Lappin, he's comfortable. You know, he's a whole stock up. Hasn't really done all that much yet in this stock, but but it doesn't really matter. He's got that room to wiggle. Well, he's exactly where he wants to be. It's party time. Up air after up air. 113%. He's failing it. Oh, and the back air coming out does not quite connect. He gets the, the ledge touch, grabbing it. 
All these jumps. Spike Ball eats it, even though he was the one who casted it. Projectile's coming out. Oh, but the down tilt. Down tilt once again. Projectile misses. Oh, he's going somewhere. Well, Appen's feeling saucy today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Beam coming out. Down tilt. Projectile just, just chilling there. And the spins! Game three of the reset going in the favor of Lalap, and that is 2-1. He needs one more to get the full reversal. <clears throat> Lalap and definitely feeling good about that Pokemon Stadium too. Uh, definitely helped him secure that dub. Very impressive performance coming from him. But now we're going to uh, to this this map that I forgot the name of. But uh, it looks pretty cool. <clears throat> Damn, we got the down tilts coming out from a lap and starting off strong already. Oh, goes for the wake up attack off of that. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Damn, he's. He's getting these exchanges, but but those exchanges are working in his favor. You know, he may be in a in a really bad position, but the damage is is kind of equal here. Yeah, I agree. Throwing those spike balls out, getting hit back. This yes maybe needs to be a little bit more careful with those. Lapin is is really catching on. Oh, all the way down there, gets back. Oh, but but DCS does manage to to hit him back off. Oh, a nice edge guard coming out from DCS. 110%. It's not looking good for him, but let's see if he can make anything with this lead he has now. Try to come back from the, the devastation that was game four or three, I think. Oh, Lalapin not wasting any time there. Getting that stock out of the way does not want to deal with a, uh, a deficit here in this game. He's too up in the reset. He's hungry for it. He wants it. Yeah, back air, I agree, coming out. Projectiles, hitting him off stage. And he's, he's, he's built quite a big lead for himself here. Looking nice. Perfect parry from uh, from DCS, but that's going to be rough. Oh, and he gets out of the the Lalapin Classic. Yeah, projectiles coming out once again. <clears throat> Firing those lasers. Back air, making him safe from the spike ball. Oh, he's charging up moves. He's feeling himself here. Oh, the projectile is gonna make, you know, just just a little uh, little love tap there, off the map. <clears throat> oh, spike ball coming out. Man, tries to eat him up as he's falling down. Definitely playing for the shenanigans here. Oh, and that is gonna be an early stock once again. He's only 39%. DCS is on his last stock. Oh, this is his tournament stock here. <clears throat> Grand finals reset. He is, you know, he's got to make something happen, and he's got the, he's got, he's got the means to do it. You know, hitting the shield down a little bit there. Damn, but he's letting him get these get up attacks. That's, that's, that's pretty rough. Definitely got to be, got to be shielding those and, and punishing accordingly. Oh, but he eats him up, spits him back out, throws him up into the air. And he's out of here. But that is a 66% lead for the Lappin. Is he gonna do it? Oh, he gets a grab! Up tilt, up air. Yeah, Beam's coming out once again. I agree. He gets another grab. Doesn't lead to anything too big. But the pressure! And we have our tournament winner. The Lappin, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay, I, I care so much. I think it is John.